Bahrain has deported eight stateless Bahrainis who were previously stripped of their citizenship. This after an appeals court upheld a 2012 ruling that ordered the deportation and stripping of citizenship of nine Bahraini nationals for what has been described as damaging state security. Since 2012, the Bahraini regime has stripped 578 nationals of their citizenship, leaving many people stateless. Usually, according to the United Nations, no uh, government must uh, take or revoke the citizenship of their citizens because they will make them stateless. They don't want people to be stateless. Now, Bahrainis who have been um, de denied of their uh, citizenship have become stateless. The moves which are seen as part of the prolonged crackdown on dissent in the Persian Gulf Kingdom have been condemned by Human Rights Watch. The advocacy group has demanded Bahrain immediately put an end to the arbitrary deportations and restore citizenship to those who have been left stateless or whose citizenship was revoked unfairly or arbitrarily. Dictators usually act outside the rule of law. They just take their own personal uh, decisions uh, based on their revenge. They like to get revenge from their opponents. There is no rule of law that is applicable here. So what the Bahrain's dictator has done is that he just decided to deny the citizens of their uh, the right, rightly uh, owned and rightly approved uh, rights to have uh, their citizenship. Opponents of the Bahraini regime and some neutral observers believe that the Al Khalifa dynasty, which is ruling the kingdom, has lost all shreds of legitimacy ever since it began its harsh crackdown on the popular uprising, which began in 2011. The crackdown has left many people dead. Thousands of people, including professionals such as physicians and academics, have ended up behind bars for supporting the uprising. The strong-arm tactics used by Bahraini authorities have failed to end the protests, which are still taking place daily across the country. We don't regret any of this. We, did not, we are not criminals. We simply stood up for something that we think is, is our right, and we think our dignity is the most important thing. The repression of dissent in Bahrain could be called a textbook example of the West's double standards towards the issue of human rights. Nearly all Western governments have kept largely silent on the crackdown in the country. Instead, they have expanded their relations with the government in Manama. The two most notorious Western governments in this regard are the U.S. and Britain. The West, uh, especially America and U.K., have shown themselves uh, to be uh, in denial of their responsibility towards uh, the rule of law, towards democracy, towards the human rights. They do not uh, really act accord in accordance with these principles. They know that Al Khalifa are violating the most basic laws. They know that the people of Bahrain are being humiliated and suppressed, but yet they say nothing. They just continue to support these dictators. Washington and London have continued to provide the Bahrain regime with arms to silence dissidents and to crack down on pro-democracy protests. The US and the UK have bases in Bahrain. The Bahraini government is also notorious for being a stooge of Saudi Arabia, which itself is a key oil supplier of the Western countries, most notably the US and Britain.